Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my vanity. I'm not going to lie, I was debating about doing this video because I don't have those Alex drawers that all the other YouTubers have, but you know what? Not everybody has those desks and that's okay. So this is my old school, old fashioned vanity and I'm going to show it to you guys today. So this table I actually purchased off a website called Furniture From Home and I got it um, maybe almost 10 years ago, honestly. Um, it's actually part of a little girl's bedroom set, but I love white antique furniture, and whenever you Google that, little girl's furniture is what shows up, because it's, like, kind of princessy, so that's okay. I really, really like this desk, so here we go. I'm just going to get right into it. So right over here, I have this, um, storage container kind of thing right here. This tray actually came from a nail art kit that I got my mom for Christmas many 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 years ago and she had actually used this tray on her dresser and then she got rid of it a few years ago so I took it over so it has these three sections in it right here so the back section I have these are like little things like I have eye masks and lip masks in here some more eye masks over there. This is a sheet mask. And I have a couple perfume samples in here also. I don't know why I keep them, but I do. And then besides that, I have these smaller square palettes here. And then over here in this corner, I just have face primers and setting sprays. Then in the second se section here, um, this is a little disorganized, but I know where everything is, so it's organized to me. So over here, I have my foundations. And then mixed in here is just... Um, mascaras and eyeliners, eyelid primers, um, have a contour stick, a, brush, a blush stick, lash glue, like a bunch of random things in there, but I know where everything is if I need to get to it. And then in this corner right here, this little container right here um, actually was a case for a set of, um, what are they called, lash curlers. So that came in there and then I used a case to hold my eyeliner pencils and lip liners. And then in this front section right here is all lip stuff. So I have all my lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks. Um, don't let this organization fool you. It does not look like this all the time. I have to rearrange it all the time because there's no actual little slots to put the lipstick in. So if I take out two minutes at once, the whole thing falls apart. So that's that. I actually want to get an actual organizer for it, but I keep forgetting to because I have this, you know? So I keep forgetting that I need one. And then over here I have this makeup remover just stuffed in here, honestly, just to take up space because the more jam-packed it is in here, the better everything stands up, you know? And then also in the corner I have my um, scissors that I use for my eyebrows, and then I have a regular small scissor that I just have just to have. And then I have my two extractors here for whatever I'm doing extractions on my face. So then in front here, it looks a little bit messy. Honestly, the whole thing, it does look a little messy, to be honest, but I promise it's pretty organized. It's just a little cluttered because I have a lot of stuff on a small space. But over here, this little tray I got from the dollar store. This actually came in a set of three, so I have the other two. Later on, we'll get to that in the desk. But I just have my tinier little palettes here, as well as a few little makeup samples in there, my pencil sharpener, and then I have a bunch of chapsticks here because I'm a chapstick and lip balm hoarder. And then these are two of my beauty blenders. They're just thrown on top of here. I need to get like another tray or something to put them in so they look nice. But for now, they just kind of lay there. And then all the way in front, this is my brow gel that I use every single time I do my makeup. So I leave it out so that it's easy to get to. And then I have my brow powder that I put over it somehow, sometimes. And then under there is just this random palette. It's just there because I just couldn't find anywhere else to put it. But that's just there. I actually don't use that palette very often, but it's just there. So then around here I have another foundation. This is one of my newer ones. This was actually just recently given to me, and I just don't have any space over there to put it, so I just leave it right here. And then this is a bottle of makeup brush cleaner. Unfortunately, the top broke off, but it's almost empty, so it's okay. And then hanging off the side of this tray right here, I have Two pairs of tweezers, and I have another extractor somewhere here. Here it is, another extractor. And then another set of scissors, and this is my eyebrow razor. So then moving on back here, I have the majority of all of my makeup palettes. If you guys are interested in actually seeing all these palettes, I actually just did a video that shows me going through all of them. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And then back here, I have my makeup brushes, and I keep them in these wine glasses that I also get from the dollar store. I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. Her name is Annie Penta. She did a video, like, 
a little over a year ago when she's showing off her beauty room and she showed that she used this this um she used um tall wine glasses to keep her brushes in so I really like that idea. Actually I think she used candle holders. But either way, same thing. I like the idea of having them on top of everything because I can keep it in the back and yet it's still easy to get to. So it's kinda like a space saver which is perfect for me because as you can see I don't really have space to spare. So I got these two for my smaller brushes and then I have a larger one for my larger ones. Honestly I only got this large one because they were no longer selling them in this size but it worked out because these brushes are bigger so obviously they need more space. And I'm thinking of getting another one like that to maybe put my beauty blenders in. That might work well for me. So then coming around to this side, I have this bucket right here. And this has all of my combs and brushes in it. My mom actually got that for me because before I used a smaller like little tin can kind of thing to keep everything in. And it was always overflowing and falling apart because I had too much stuff for the small bucket that it was so she got me this one this is actually those buckets that you put on your counter your kitchen counter to keep all utensils in so there's a lot of space in there so everything fits in here a lot neater than it used to be so right over here is the only section that really looks like a desk more than a vanity table because I have my notebooks here um, so it's not the most visually pleasing area of this table but it's it works it, it is what it is that's just where everything fits for me so over here I just have some makeup wipes and then this little mirror was actually a birthday gift from a friend of my mom. She gave it to me for my 19th birthday I believe. So she just painted it and decorated it herself and then she put a little K on it for Kelsey. So these notebooks here, um, this one right here is actually my YouTube notebook so I write down my video ideas in there. And then I make little scripts for myself for some of my videos just to make sure that I don't forget to say anything. This notebook is actually the book that I used to bring with me to church to take notes, but I filled up all the pages, so now it just stays there and I have another one that I bring. This is like my everything notebook, but it's mostly notes that I take at trade shows when I take classes for hair. I write my notes in there, and also I write down my dance routines in there because if you don't know, I'm a dancer and a dance teacher, so whenever I'm choreographing routines, I write it down in there so I don't forget it. And this book right here is actually a sketchbook, and I use it to draw out my formations to go with the dance routines. So besides I have a couple other things and little papers in here, but I'm not going to go through everything. But yeah, that's that section. And then right here is this gift card that I actually got. I believe I got it at the end of the dance year last year from one of the students that I helped teach. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. I, I'm pretty sure a dancer gave this to me. So over here, these drawers used to be a lot more organized than they are right now. But basically these top three... Oops. These top three are nail stuff, so I keep nail files, nail clippers, buffers, um, toe separators, cuticle pushers, that kind of stuff, all in these three drawers. And then these bottom three is hair stuff like hair pins, bobby pins, um, hair ties, headbands, roller clips, things like that. I keep it in those bottom three. So they're a little messy at the moment, but there was a time when it was more organized in there. So then up on top here, I have these Listerine breath strips. I love these things. I have them laying around everywhere. And then in this glass right here, I have these beautiful mermaid tail makeup brushes. I got these as a Christmas gift from one of the dancers this past Christmas. And I think I only use one or two of them. But I just keep cleaning them right away and putting them back because I just think they look so pretty just how they are. So as much as I love them, I don't like to touch them because I just like looking at them. And I feel like the glass makes it even prettier. So over here, I have this Snowman Joy Snow Globe. I got this from a Secret Santa gift from the dance studio a couple years ago. I got it with a bunch of other stuff and I know it's not Christmas time anymore but it just stays here because this is just its spot, you know? And then right underneath it I have some edge control. And then in the back I have another set of makeup brushes that were also a Christmas gift from a few years ago. And since they come in their own stand, I just leave them there. Even though I use them, I just always put them back in their stand because they have a stand. And then right around the corner over here I have my Meissler cleansing water and I just leave it there because right over here is like my skincare stuff but we're not gonna get into that because it's a little messy right now and it's not part of this vanity so as you can see I have a lot of stains in the front here I don't really know what to do about it obviously they're makeup stains except this red one I don't know where that came from but if you guys could see like this little checkerboard looking 
imprint here that's actually from a paper towel when I first went to beauty school I practiced doing acrylics on myself and I was dumb enough to have the acetone right here on the counter and it soaked through the paper towel and I didn't think anything of it but then when I went to clean it up I saw that so that's what that's all about so I can't fix that but besides that these are all like regular makeup stains and I don't know how to get rid of them I would love to cover this with like a marble sheet or something but because this desk isn't like a perfect square and has this shape to it I feel like if I want to cut something out to fit it perfectly, I would ruin it. So, I'm just going to live with it like this. Anyway, this is my tri-folding mirror. This is my Christmas gift from my brother a few years ago. And it has four light settings. This one is my favorite. And the middle mirror rotates, so we have a magnifying mirror on that side. So that's everything that's on the top of this table. So now we're going to go into my drawers. Just so you know, it's not necessarily makeup looking drawers, but it is what it is. So this first one is actually my junk drawer, so it's not very neat at all. I have a little bit of makeup in here. Um, I have a lot of cords and chargers. This right here is actually my Nintendo DS Lite from... I don't even know. I think this was from back when I was in middle school, so it was way, way back in the day, but I don't remember the last time I even turned that thing on, but it's mine, so I can't get rid of it. <laughs> and then over here, I just have two processing caps for when I'm doing deep conditioners on myself. When I'm working on clients, obviously I just throw them out after each use, but since these are mine, I reuse them a couple times before I throw them out because you can reuse them. So I hold on to mine for a little bit just because it's a little less wasteful to me. And then this drawer is the only drawer that's really a makeup drawer. So this is where I have the other two trays that match that one up there. So in them I pretty much just have loose powders, whether it's blushes or highlights or concealers. They're all just loose powders and then I have other face powders in this section over here. And then up in front here is like gel eyeliners and a couple other eyeshadows. Basically whatever fit in there went in there. So this drawer right here is a little hard to open because it doesn't actually pull out. It flips out because this is actually a computer desk and it's hard to open with one hand. Hold on. Okay, so it flips open like this because it's supposed to be a computer desk. So you would have your desktop up there and then you'll put the keyboard down here and roll it out. I didn't know it opened like this when I ordered it, so that kind of sucks, but it's okay. I really just use it to store papers. Well, it's mostly just birthday cards that I've accumulated over the years. And then I also have some of my dance pictures from my first few years of dance. And then moving over here, this also isn't a makeup drawer either. This is just full of bonnets and headscarves and basically stuff that I wear on my head when I go to sleep. And also somewhere in there I have hair clips too for whenever I'm doing my hair. And then I have like thicker headbands as well. And then in this last one, I just have my lashes and my face mask. These are um, all sheet masks that I keep in there also. So that's pretty much my entire vanity. I do have some stuff underneath as well, but it's not necessarily related to this. It's just storage because this is a very small space. But if you're interested or curious, that bin over there is just full of nail polishes. And then that's a bottle of acetone. That's the can of the spray that you use to dry your nails faster. That binder right there is, or was, my portfolio. I mean, it technically still is, but it's full of pictures from when I first graduated cosmetology school, so I don't use it anymore. I kind of just look back at it to see how much I've grown, but I don't bring that, I won't bring that with me to, like, get a new job or anything. That bag right over there is full of makeup that I don't like so much anymore, so it's just kind of there. And then that makeup case over there is just for... Um, when I have dance competitions or recital and stuff, I put my makeup in there. I don't really use it to work or anything because it's too small, so it's just for like my personal makeup for travel and stuff. So that is everything on and in my vanity table. Like I said, it's not your average YouTuber vanity, but it's the one that works for me. It's very old school and old fashioned for sure, but I love it. It's very my style. One day I plan on getting a giant light up mirror to put in the back there, but again, it's one of those things that I keep forgetting to buy because I have this and you tend to forget that you need things when you have other things that are currently replacing it. So one of these days I'll get to that and this will be complete, but 
that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.